Hi folks, Sonia from 11th Street Design here. Today I want to show you how to use our sports templates in Canva. Um, so here's our template over here. To the left you can see I've got um, my folder open with a bunch of football images that I want to add over here. Um, you can see a bunch of these have removed backgrounds already. I've done that in a separate program um, and uploaded here. I will link uh, in the description below to a different tutorial that shows you exactly how to do that. If you have the free version of Canva, you'll want to take a look at that. If you're working with the pro version of Cam Canva, um, you can upload your photos just like this. So let's let's go ahead and get started. Let's um, click on this photo here and it drops it over here for us. So the first thing we're going to want to do is edit that image and just click on background remover. And again, this is a pro Canva feature, um, but it's super simple. So you can see that we've gone ahead and done that. So now we can size him to get him to fit in here. I'm going to put him in the foreground. I want him to be one of my bigger images. OK. Um, and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to position him in this template. So let's go to position and then click on layers. And we want him under the smoke. So let's bring him down here. And now you can see the smoke is covering his leg here. All right, let's go back to our images. Uh, here we are. And let's bring the next one in. This is the next image I'm going to want to add. I'll just click on that, bring it over here. Let's go back to Edit Image, Remove Background. Okay, now you can see that it's actually, let me move it over here, you can see it's got part of another image here. So we're going to go in and just click on this. We are going to be on the erase mode here. Let's make our brush size a little bit bigger. And let's just get rid of this little guy over here. Okay, there we go. Perfect. All right, so let's move him in place now. And I'm going to keep him a little bit smaller so we can have some good contrast here. And again, let's go back to position. There's our layer palette. I'm going to bring him down beneath the smoke as well. Okay, perfect. So the last thing uh, we want to do Oh, sorry. Let's go back to our images over here. Uh, we're going to add a large black and white image in the back here. Um, and that's going to be this guy. So let's go ahead and edit the image. Remove the background. Perfect. Now we're going, I want this image to be nice and large, very large. All right, that's what I want to see right there. And we want to make, um, let's position him. He's going to go way to the back. Perfect. Now we want to edit this image. OK, let's adjust. We want this to be black and white. So let's come to our saturation slider and bring that all the way down. And then we want to reduce the opacity. So if we come up here for the transparency, let's just bring it down so we can see them. I think 40 looks pretty good right there. And then you can just adjust that any way you like there. All right, and so the last thing we need to do is just edit the text. So let's come in here. Maybe Triple click on it, it'll select everything. Okay, and then the next thing is just to edit the name. And that's it. 